from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week, Americana Outdoors proudly presents the coverage of the 2017 Cabela's National Team Championship. Welcome to Lake Erie out of Lorraine, Ohio. Considered the pinnacle of grassroots walleye tournament fishing, the Cabela's NTC features 502 of North America's top walleye anglers fishing in two-person teams for top honors and more than a quarter of a million dollars in cash and prizes. Well, today we're at the uh, registration for the Cabela's National Team Championship here in Lorain, Ohio. Getting all these anglers registered and ready to go for tomorrow. We'll go through our rules meeting tonight and get them prepared to be out on the water tomorrow. Cabela's really invests in this tournament just because we are investing in our customers and potential customers. You know, providing such a prestigious event for them really shows that we are investing in the future and the future of fishing and, and really want to continue to grow that sport. The Cabela's NTC annually draws hundreds of anglers from across the U.S. and Canada who qualified for the event through local competitions sanctioned by the Walleye Federation, TWF. But this year's contingent is one of the largest standalone NTC fields ever assembled at 251 teams. Oh, I love that we get people from all over the country to come in. So we're talking people from, you know, from North Dakota and South Dakota and, and way out west and down south. And uh, it's great to talk to all the guys and, uh, you know, camaraderie for all the fishermen. So it's really good. NTC, it's nice format. It's grassroots. Our club's involved with the Walleye Federation to promote the sport, to promote it within our own local club. Um, you know, we have anywhere between 25 and 30 boats and the NTC gives our anglers an opportunity to come compete at the next level. Probably no better place to catch the biggest walleyes in the country than here right at Lake Erie and out, out of Lorraine. I mean, out east here uh, on the shores of Lake Erie, I mean, this is where the big walleyes are in the summer, and you're going to see it come uh, way in time the next few days. We've had a severe northeast blow the last two days, and I'd say 95% of the fishermen could not get out. The bite was hit and miss probably, you know, for the last three days prior to that. A uh, few guys getting them, most of them struggling a little bit. There's a lot of small fish in the system hundreds of them. And you, you can catch 50, 60 fish a day, but to get to the right ones, the seven to 10 pounders, you've really got to, you know, search and destroy mission to find them. So yeah. you guys will have to go find the fish tomorrow if they moved on them because of the cold water and the wind. Our game plan is to follow people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, we've been here for over a week pre-fishing, so you know we've had a lot of fun. We've been out there in the deep water, or shallow water. We've experienced dirty water and clean water, so I think we're prepared and we're going to yeah. get out there and do it. And we're, we're going to have fun while we're at it. We're sisters. Sisters. The Cabela's NTC is a three-day two-angler team event where the competitors are fishing for their best five fish each day. The minimum length is 15 inches. All teams compete the first two days with the top 25 moving on to fish the third and final day. The team with the heaviest weight after the three days takes home the trophy, the title, and $25,000 cash, along with a brand new custom rigged Ranger boat. In 2015, we were in Lake Milford Reservoir and uh, we won the 2015 Cabela's National Team Championship. Cabela is to, to throw a tournament like this together, and it's great, man. You know, you got guys from small circuits, you know, big circuits, and everything like in between. And uh, where else do you get an opportunity, you know, for, for guys like me to fish against some of these big name pros? You know, and then we actually got to win it. Well, coming up, it's day one of the 2017 Cabela's National Team Championship. Stay tuned. It won't win a beauty contest, might win a fishing contest. For 85 bucks, you can bring it all without spending it all. Cabela's Advanced Angler's Tackle Bag. Great price. Lifetime guarantee. Only at Cabela's. Engineered to excel, the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real-world advantages and exclusive features. 
experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. And by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Welcome back to Lake Erie, Ohio for the coverage of the 16th annual Cabela's National Team Championship. Over 500 of North America's top walleye anglers are getting ready for the first day of the tournament. Uh, biggest challenge for today is getting five good fish, uh, relocating the fish after the blow. If they're not there, it's to pick up, watch electronics, and find them. I'm going into it with no expectations. I, I think the fishing is can be won anywhere from the islands to the PA line. I think it's about getting the right five bites. If you get the right five bites, for three days straight, you have a shot at it. The game plan is to go out and hit our spots and pull some crankbaits right on the mud and hope we can get the big girls to go. The south wind today is going to lay things right flat, so hopefully we'll be able to chase them down. It's been a pretty tough pre-fish for us. We've caught a lot of fish, just not the right size. We've caught a few big ones, but it's been, it's been pretty tough to get a solid program down. Me and Corey started fishing together, I mean, pretty much as we were growing up as kids, and then probably about eight, nine years ago, started jumping into a few tournaments here and there, and uh, kind of progressed into this. We've been doing this one together since, I think 2011 was the one that we actually won both boats. Uh, walked away with about 180,000, and we've been doing them ever since. Good morning, guys. Good luck to you. Be safe out there. A good one. Great job. It's gonna be in that line. Get that <laughs> Nice. Barely got that one. That's what we're looking for right there. Four more of them and we're set. Plenty of time yet today. 30 and a half. That's all we need. Often that. I think that one's been eating a little bit. <laughs> the bigger fish are obviously in a no feed mode right now, so we're gonna go down to them with a the bottom bounce. You got one on your inside rod going, Jerry. Four, five. <laughs> a little more, a little more. Oh yeah, he's a little bigger than you think he is. That's a nice fish. Nice job. Yep. That's why we come to Lake Erie, right there. I think he's on. Now if I miss this, don't uh, record it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never hear the end of it, I'll see it. <laughs> They'll record it on television. <laughs> Ready? He likes the water again. After day one competition, leading the field of the best teams in North America's top walleye anglers are Dan Geekin and Brad oh, Barons from South Dakota, with a five fish limit that tipped the scales at 44.01 pounds. The second place team is Kurt Hansen and Andrew Johnson from North Dakota, with a total of 43.1 pounds. And coming in third is Timothy Johnson and Jason Zebek from Vermilion, Ohio, with a five fish limit of 43.03 pounds. Well, you know, we watched a couple, uh, we watched a couple boats around us, uh, you know, get a quicker start than we had. Um, 10 o'clock, we had one in the boat. Uh, lost a couple good ones, and then uh, had a flurry. We put uh, probably 30 pounds in the boat in a matter of about 20 minutes. We did expect sacks this big. I actually thought maybe even bigger sacks than what was brought in. There's been a lot of big fish in the area, and we found them a couple days ago and just ate on them. I think we need at least 30. 30 pounds tomorrow, I think we'll 
make top 25, hopefully. So, but we're gonna try for 50. And here is the top 10 from day one. Up next, the second day of the 2017 Cabela's NTC is underway. Stay with us. Meet the water's lightest 25 horsepower four stroke, the all new Yamaha F25, the new standard in 25 horsepower portable four strokes. At just 126 pounds, it's got the best power to weight ratio of any 25 horsepower four stroke on the water. With performance that bests the previous Yamaha F25 and features like Yamaha's BTS for precise trolling speeds, batteryless EFI, built in resting pads, and carry handles, it's the perfect portable power for small boats. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by PowerPole. Swift, silent, secure. Big Bite Bait, designed to bring the big bite to your line. And by Hobie, Hobie Fishing Mirage Drive Pedal Systems. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're on the shore of Lake Erie in Lorain, Ohio, for the second day of the 2017 Cabela's NTC. Today could be the last day for some of the anglers that couldn't secure the spot in the top 25. We're looking forward to it, and you know, we, we've been on both ends of this. We, we won uh, won this event in 2013, and uh, you know, so it's a it's a roller coaster. Uh, you never know what's going to happen, and some of those guys at the top are, are going to struggle today, and, and some of the guys that are down are going to bring in some really good bags, and uh, there's going to be some foot flopping for sure. Uh, we're sitting in uh, 13th place. Uh, we had a we had a pretty decent day yesterday, and wind's changing around a little bit, moves some current, but I think where we're at, we're, we're we should be good. We're we're fishing pretty much all by ourselves. Um, after day one, we're sitting in first. We had a little over 44 pounds. There's a lot of uh, a lot of boats close behind us. Don't know that we'll get another 44 today, but we're hoping you know mid to high 30s keeps us alive for for Saturday when the, when the checks get written. I'm on uh, 22nd place. Going to go out and grind out five more good bites, I hope, and uh, make it to Saturday. Oh well, yesterday we didn't quite get the fish we were looking for until the end of the day, so we're going to try to get back on those and and uh, run some crankbaits and see if we can come in with one of those 40-pound bags like the rest of the crew did. It looked like. <laughs> We just got to find a pot of fish that we can work by ourselves that are that are not going to get pushed around, that are not going to get spooked because uh, it seems like where people are catching the fish, there's big crowds. And if you can find a pot of fish by yourself, you could do all right. So uh, we're sitting in second place, like seven ounces out of the lead. Um, try and do the same thing we did yesterday, and hopefully get the bites. There's fish. You know, start. You know, work for the first one. Seems pretty good. Running pretty good. There we go. Nice one. Nice job. That's what we're looking good for. Not a baby. One. <laughs> yep, that's what you want to get going. Good side. Yeah. Uh, got a couple hours left at the most, maybe an hour and a half. And uh, we just need to get uh, four more in the box. So we got a prayer to make it to tomorrow. So. Nice side. Okay. 22? Yeah, so not gonna keep us in first, but might help to keep us fishing tomorrow. Oh yeah. But 
handle. All right, go ahead. Well, we're gonna make a quick move here. We, we came over to the nursery and got the four that we needed. I uh, don't think the big fish are here, but able to fill out a limit with some smaller fish. Now we're gonna run back over to our number one spot and just hope that, uh, hope that we can get one or two big bites quick in the next hour. We're back on the bank of Lake Erie for day two weigh-in of the 2017 Cabela's NTC. Sam Capelli and Eric Williams bring in a bag of 27.14 pounds, making a total weight of 69.08 pounds and sitting in third on the leaderboard. Second place belongs to Maxwell Wilson and Chase Everly. They caught a five fish limit of 45.03 pounds, the biggest bag of the day and have a total weight of 73.01 pounds. And rising from 22nd place to lead the fleet with only one ounce over second place is Greg Clayton and Don Lint with a two day total of 73.02 pounds. Mind boggling. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah, mind boggling. 250, you know, one boat's best anglers in the country here. And uh, we're just some local guys that just uh, fish local events and stuff and uh, qualified through uh, Walleye Madness. And uh, it's awesome, uh, really. We're, we're, we're a mess of emotions right now. Uh, you know, we had 27 pounds yesterday and then we got a big bag today. So, you know, we're, we're on cloud nine because that last hour was just insane for us. You know, we're pretty confident about tomorrow. I mean, the program that we're doing, it's a little different than everybody else. Uh, so, I mean, we only had eight bites today, yep. but those eight bites were the right bites. I mean, we were calling sevens by the end of the day, so. And here's the top 10 after day two. Well, coming up, the final day of the 2017 Cabela's NTC. Find out who will be crowned the 16th national champion of the most lucrative grassroots walleye tournament title. From the makers of Bubba Blade comes the Bubba Blade Fishing Pliers. No matter where you're headed to fish, this tool will become an integral part of your tackle box for many years to come. They feature our patented no-slip grip handles, just like our Bubble Blade knives, ensuring that this tool will stay firmly anchored in your hand. In addition to the handles, these pliers feature a super tough cobalt cutter and convenient split shot and leader sleeve crimping cutouts. The ultimate in control, strength, and durability. Bubba Blade. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin has been brought to you by Sunline, the strength to guarantee your confidence. Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife. And by Angle Coolers, rugged, durable, high performance marine coolers. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Well, it's the final day of the 2017 Cabela's NTC and leading the field are the local team. Don Lint and Greg Clayton. Pretty uh, humbling, actually. It's hard to believe, really, because we're just like local guys here, and uh, we fish on the weekends. We have full-time jobs. We work at the same place, and uh, we come out and we hit it hard on our days off. And uh, to compete with these guys that some of them do it for a living is 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 pretty cool. Pretty cool. Feeling pretty good. We're sitting in fourth place right now. We're uh, just a little bit under six pounds out of first, so. I think we have a, a pretty legitimate chance of pulling a good bag and trying to make a move. Uh, this is our first time fishing the NTC. Everything's been great. It's just an overwhelming experience and we're just having a good time and hoping to go out there and pull some fish. We're focusing on not really a numbers bite that a lot of guys are doing. We're focusing more on uh, it's very specific uh, spot on the spot type of stuff and looking for those, those big, big fish. Yeah, we're coming from Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's <laughs> first, first big tournament for us, so we're just excited to be here and at this point. So. All right, English, here we go. Start your outboards. Good 
big wall. Yes! Woo! That's how you start, baby! That's what we need! Four more, buddy, four more. Four more. I've never been in this position before, so it's it's uh, very nerve-wracking. I mean, that's that's one of our smaller fish the last few days, but that, we'll take we'll take three more of those. The 27 on Lake Erie is a good fish any day. So. Yes, baby, five. You got five. Here. Real McCoy here. Uh, real Coming right with us. Pretty good. Nervous time. 100 left. Yeah, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. <laughs> One. Fine. One more. You ain't the biggest, but it'll work. Please, <laughs> please be the right species. Take it, take it. It's a keeper. We'll take it. <laughs> this point in the game. Two pounder. In the box, baby. <laughs> well, we gave it our best shot. See what happens at the weigh-in. The 2017 Cabela's National Team Championship has come to an end. We're back at the Black River Landing for the final weigh-in. Michael McCardle and Mark Brook climb up from 24th to third place. They bring in a bag of 38.15 pounds, making it a total weight of 96 pounds and take home $8,500. The second place belongs to James Hoff and Dustin Clark. With a five fish bag of 29.07 pounds, they finish with a total weight of 97.03 pounds and take home $10,000. And with a three day total weight of 107.03 pounds, Ohio's Sam Capelli and Eric Williams win top honors at the 2017 Cabela's National Team Championship. Capelli and Williams collect the $25,000 first place cash paycheck, plus a brand new Ranger boat, rigged with a power pole, shallow water anchor, and drift paddle. They also claim a second decked out Ranger boat for winning the Ranger Cup contingency, pushing their total winnings past $165,000. Here are the final results for the 2017 Cabela's National Team Championship from Lake Erie, Lorraine, Ohio. Our goal was a place in the top 25. That's all we wanted to do. And, and it's our first time in the top 25, and we hit it out of park, I guess. <laughs> we, we fish our butt off every year to qualify for this tournament. And Lake Oahe in 2008, we let it slip through our fingers, but I think we made up for it this time. To find out about Walleye Federation events in your region, visit walleyefederation.com. And for in-depth stories from the fields and to watch any of our previous episodes, visit our newly designed and easy to navigate website at AmericanaOutdoors.com. Hey, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Americana Outdoors. <laughs> Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more.
Engel coolers. Go with the original. There's two things between an angler and the fish, the sun and the bugs. Sawyer's line of sunscreens and bug sprays keep you focused on the fish. Sawyer's Stay Put Sunscreen Formula bonds with your skin for a more comfortable and better level protection. And Picarid and Insect Repellent will only harm the bugs, never your fishing gear. Also, Sawyer Permethrin repels and kills on contact over 55 species of insects. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. Kobe Kayaks provide the ultimate lightweight fishing platforms that will offer anyone what they want when it comes time to hit the water. Hobie Kayak's commitment to innovation, quality, and owner satisfaction is unparalleled in the industry. So when it's time for you to go kayaking, remember there's only one name to remember. And that's Hobie Kayak. Hey everyone, Gil Pro, Dean Rojas here, and all of last year, I really enjoyed wearing my FG21, which I have on right now. Well, coming up, we have a brand new color. As you can see, we have a new silver color. I want to tell you about the FG21 jacket. The coolest thing about this jacket is the Vortex hood. All day long, it does not matter how much it rains, you're going to stay dry and you're going to stay warm and in turn, help you catch more fish. When I talk about Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm gonna use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works, it works, dude. Here at Big Bite Base, we've got a big line of different plastics, and you know they're all a tool, so you want to have them with you all the time. I made several checks in crowded areas, flipping that right there. Just a six-inch Big Bite Creek tail worm. Here at Big Bite, we came out with four brand new colors this year. All four of these colors are going to be great fish catching baits. Definitely my number one go-to bait that Big Bite has out right now is the Big Bite Battle Bug. Big Bite is leading the way when it comes to innovation and colors. From out on the water, straight to the grill, and everywhere in between, Americana Outdoors has you covered. Our newly designed website features instructional videos, product reviews, and cooking recipes from some of the top contributors in the business. For even more Americana Outdoors content, sign up for the monthly e-magazine featuring the latest outdoor news and trending topics in the industry. Don't miss out on your chance to learn from the pros. Visit AmericanaOutdoors.com now.